In this video, we're going to talk about how to deal with charts and diagrams, or maybe tables, as you're reading through some material. So I have a book here on derivatives, and this is something you might encounter if you were taking a finance class, dealing with maybe futures and options trading. And let's say you're reading through some text, and at some point you'll encounter you know, this chart or diagram, but you'll have a paragraph to kind of supplement it. And that paragraph is going to discuss the diagram. And here's the problem. A lot of people will read through that paragraph and after they're done reading that paragraph, they'll check out the diagram that it's referring to and they'll kind of sometimes be confused by it, especially if it's very, very detailed. And then they got to go back and they got to reread that paragraph. What I suggest you do next time you encounter this scenario is the moment it says refer to figure, I don't know, 2.4, you stop reading and you look at figure 2.4. In this case, it's 26.2. And you're just looking at this to get like a first impression. And then you read the next sentence. Maybe you leave your finger wherever you stopped and you read, okay, uh, figure 2.4 shows the relationship between blah, blah, blah and blah, blah, blah. Stop reading. Check the diagram to see if you can verify that. So it's like you're getting a little tidbit of information. Now you're trying to verify, is that information correct? and you're visually looking at it and visually verifying. That is very important because visuals, you ever hear that expression, a picture is worth a thousand words? When you read a sentence, you get a little bit of comprehension, but when you see it happening on a chart or a diagram or in a table, your comprehension increases greatly. So you read that sentence, look at the diagram, and then you read the next sentence. And it might say figure 2.4 additionally shows blah, 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 blah. Stop reading, check if you can verify that. So it's kind of a choppy way of reading, I understand that, but it's much better than reading an entire giant paragraph jam-packed with detail, talking all about this diagram or this chart, and then trying to go to the diagram and figure it out. I mean, this right here is not very complex, but there are other diagrams here that get a lot more detailed in the text, and it's a good idea to kind of read a sentence, check the diagram, read another sentence, check the diagram. And that's going to increase your comprehension instead of just reading the entire paragraph. So next time you encounter a diagram, try to see if this will be a benefit to you. I think a lot of people when they're reading, they make a mistake by just reading entire paragraphs or some people will even skip diagrams, which is a totally other problem. If you're looking for additional tips on reading more efficiently, we have a speed reading course. You could also take our advanced comprehension and memory courses. Check it out on the site. And also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. We'll be posting a lot more videos in the days and the weeks to come. I'm Paul Novak, thanks for watching.